Now we're up to A8, and A8 is going to be assembled like an on-point block. So what we have here is we have a row, if you look at it sideways, we have a row here, and then this plus this is a row, and then this is a row, and then we've got these two end corners. So I got my pieces here, like normal, and my rectangles, I'm going to do the short sides first, then the long sides, squares, I'm going to do opposite sides, then opposite sides. For these pieces here, I'm going to base the hypotenuse first, then the legs, so then my tags are going to go away towards the sashing. These right here, I'm going to base the legs first, then the hypotenuse, so then my tag goes away towards the sashing, and so on. So these I'm going to base the A, the A triangles, I'm going to base one way, the B triangles, I'm going to base the other. The reason I labeled them A and B is because they're really close in size, so I wanted to make sure I got them in the right place when I did my block layout and my block prep. So I'm going to go ahead and start basting, and I'm going to work on this first row right here. So I've got this corner basted, and I wanted to point out that this is not a square, so make sure that you don't rotate this and attach it wrong. Now it's kind of obvious when you go to attach this triangle that it's not the right size, but I wanted to point that out. So you're going to put these in a row, and then I'll do this before I attach my corner. I got my row assembled here, and so now I'm going to attach my corner triangle. Got my corner attached, so I'm going to set this aside, and now I'm going to assemble this row after basting my pieces. So I've finished my center row, now I'm going to attach the corner piece. So I've attached my two rows, and this is what I have on the front. So the next thing to do is to baste and connect this row. So I have put together this last corner, and I will attach it to the rest of the block. So I've attached the upper corner to the rest of the block, and my A8 block is now completed.